objective, raising a power to a power and a product to a power. Big number one, when raising a power to a power, keep the base and multiply the exponents. So we have A is our base, and it's raised to the M power. M is the exponent. Exponent and power can be used interchangeably. So A to the M power raised to the N power. So a power to a power, we multiply M times N. So A to the M N power. Well, why? So here's four examples. Example number one, three to the sixth power raised to the second power. So three to the sixth power, here it is, and it's to the second power, which means we write it twice. It's a product times itself, okay? So three is the base, keep the base, add the exponent. Six plus six gives us 12. Now the shortcut is six times two, which is 12. So keep the base and multiply the exponents. Example number two. 5 to the 4th power raised to the 3rd power. This means 5 to the 4th power times itself 3 times. 5 to the 4th times 5 to the 4th times 5 to the 4th. So we would keep the base, which is 5, and add the exponents. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12. Or the shortcut, 4 times 3 is 12. Keep the base multiply these exponents. Example number three, two to the seventh power raised to the fourth power. So we're just gonna do the shortcut now. Seven times four is 28. Keep the base, which was two. So two to the 28th power. Example number four, four to the fifth power raised to the fifth power. Four is the base, keep the base. Multiply the exponents. A power to a power we multiply. So 5 times 5 gives us 25. Vic number 2. When raising a product to a power, each variable or number within the product is raised to the power. So on these examples, you see that we have more than one thing inside our parentheses. We have 2 times x squared. So that's a product on the inside. And the whole product is raised to the third power. So what you do is every term or variable inside gets the exponent. So two, right now it's to the first power. So this is two to the first times x squared. And these are each to the third power. So to the third power, and to the third power. So we do a power to a power, multiply. One times three is three. Keep the base, and we have two to the third power. X to the second power, to the third power. Keep the base, and two times three is six. Now we can simplify this just a little bit more. Two to the third power, that's two times two times two, which is eight times x to the sixth. Now we don't have to write the multiplication because we write a constant or the coefficient next to the variable. It implies that there is multiplication. So 8x to the sixth power. Example number six. Three times x squared times y to the fourth. All of this raised to the fifth power. So we're going to write them individually. Now right now the three is to the first power. Remember if you don't see the exponent it's a one. So I have 3 to the first power raised to the fifth power times x to the second power raised to the fifth power times y to the fourth power raised to the fifth power. A power to a power, multiply. So 3 is the base, 1 times 5 is 5, x is the base, 2 times 5 is 10, y is the base, 4 times 5 is 20. 3 to the 5th power. 3 to the 5th power is, on my calculator, 243 times x to the 10th, so I just write it right next to it, 
and y to the 20th, 20th. 243 times x to the 10th times y to the 20th. Example number seven. Four to the second power times a to the third times b to the negative first, all raised to the fourth power. So four to the second power is raised to the fourth power times a to the third power raised to the fourth power times b to the negative first power raised to the fourth power. You see how there's three things inside and they all are raised to the fourth power. When we have a power raised to a power, we multiply. So the base is four. Four times two, right? Two times four, eight times. A is the base. Three times four is 12. B is the base. Negative one times four is negative four. Now four to the eighth power, that's gonna be a really big number. Four to the eighth power on my calculator gives me 65,500 and 36. And remember I showed you in a previous video how to type in 4 to the 8th power on your calculator. a to the 12th power and b to the negative 4th power. Now remember the rule for negative exponents. We put a one placeholder on top and then bring it down to the bottom and make it positive. So the negative 4 moves to the bottom and becomes positive. And we can rewrite this one more time as 65,536 a to the 12th all over b to the fourth power. This would be my final answer. I just multiply this times one and then put it all over the denominator. Example number eight. x I'm sorry, six times x squared times y to the third times z to the fourth, all raised to the zero power. Now, this means six, right now it's to the first power, so six to the first to the zero times x squared to the zero times y to the third to the zero times z to the fourth, it's a little long, to the zero. 6 to the first to the 0. 0 times 1 is 0, so 6 to the 0. x squared to the 0 power. 2 times 0, 0, so x to the 0. 3 times 0 is 0, so y to the 0. 4 times 0 is 0, so z to the 0. 6 to the 0 is 1. x to the 0 is 1. y to the 0 is 1. And z to the 0 is 1. 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. Remember, we could have done a shortcut. Anything to the 0 power is just 1. So you could have cut from here straight down to your answer. Make sure you remember that rule. A couple practice problems. We're going to simplify. So we have... Example number nine, x to the third, y to the fifth, raised to the second power, times x squared, y to the fourth, raised to the third power. So let's do this first part, x to the third, to the second power, y to the fifth, to the second power. And now each of these become to the third power. So x squared to the third power, and y to the fourth, to the third power. A power to a power we multiply. So 2 times 3 is 6, 5 times 2 is 10, 2 times 3 is 6, and 4 times 3 is 12. Now I want to put the ones that are the same next to each other, so I'm just going to reorder these by the associative property that says x to the sixth power times x to the 6th power, I just put my x's next to each other, and y to the 10th power times y to the 12th power. So I put my y's together. And it's easier to see it this way. So if I have like bases and I multiply, that means I add my exponents. So 6 plus 6 gives me 12. Keep the base, add the exponents. y to the 10th 
times y to the 12. So I have y as my base and add my exponents. 10 plus 12 is 22. So try not to get the two rules confused. Remember, a power to a power, we multiply the exponents. That's where the 10 came from. But when multiplying like bases, keep the base and add the exponents, 10 plus 12. That's why we have 22 here. All right, example number 10. Negative 2 n to the 6 y to the 5th times negative 6 n to the 3rd y to the 2nd times n y raised to the third power. So both of these are to the third power. All right, let's multiply. First of all, I'm going to carry these two quantities down and then I'm going to distribute this exponent first because remember in our order of operations, exponents come before multiplication and this is just multiplying right here. So negative 2 n to the 6th, y to the 5th just comes down, negative 6 n to the third, y to the second, also just comes straight down. And now n, this is to the first power, and y is to the first power. So I'll have n to the first to the third, and y to the first to the third. So n to the first to the third means one times three, or n to the third power, and one times three again. So this is y to the third power. I'm going to carry these down one more time. Okay. And now I'm going to start multiplying. So negative 2 times negative 6. Remember, a negative times a negative is a positive, And 2 times 6 gives me 12. Now I'm going to look at my n's. So I have n to the 6th, n to the 3rd, and another n to the 3rd. When multiplying like bases, keep the base, add the exponents. 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 3 more is 12. Now I'm going to look at my y's. I have y to the 5th, and y to the 2nd, and y to the 3rd. When multiplying like bases, keep the base, which is y, add the exponents. 5 plus 2 is 7, 2 plus 3, I'm sorry, 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 3 more is 10. So this would be my final answer.